Hey everyone, I'm Andre and welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a version of my Jamaican curry shrimp. This dish got me my very first apron on MasterChef Canada. It's creamy, it's spicy, and it has a lot of flavor in the stock. So let's get started. So you're going to need about a pound of shrimp. I like to get the shrimps with the heads on it and the tails because I use the shrimp tails and the shells for my stock. I'll show you how to devein one right here. So you're just pulling off the head, pull off the tail, the shell. So what you want to do here is make a nice slit along the back to get that first vein out. Right there, that's what you're looking for, that sack. So grab that out and discard of that. Then there's another vein at the bottom that you need to slice out and remove. And that's it. That's all you have to do to, to clean your shrimp and toss it in. So I'll do that for the next one. Honestly, buying shrimp with the head on and the tails on is much cheaper and you get to use all this for some wicked flavor. And clean up your shrimp. Now that my shrimps are all cleaned, I'm gonna marinate them with some spices here. I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, a pinch of ground allspice. So I'm using Jamaican curry powder. It's just a different blend. There's so many different curries. Honestly, I don't know what's in them, but I know Jamaican curry powder has allspice in it. I'm adding a little allspice. You don't have to. So all the spices are in here. I'm just going to mix it up. So you have the salt, the black pepper, the curry powder, the allspice. Shrimp absorbs spices very well, so it doesn't take long for it to marinate. Well, I'm honestly gonna make this marinate for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna go by steps. So once I marinate the shrimp, I'm gonna start my stock and my potatoes, and the shrimp is basically the last thing to go into the pan. Because they, they cook in like five minutes. And I'm gonna cover this up and put it in the fridge. Okay, so while the shrimp is marinating, I'm gonna work on the potatoes and the stock. So for the potatoes, I have about a cup of potatoes. You can use like one medium potato. I took out the eyes already. I'm just gonna rough chop them. Try to keep everything even so they cook evenly. And what I like to do is just to fry the potatoes just a little bit in a frying pan on its own, just to give it a different texture. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my heat on my frying pan. I'm gonna use some avocado oil because it doesn't really have that much flavor. I don't wanna off put my potatoes. All right, on a medium heat, just wanna cook these potatoes until they're soft. So, have them here. Season as I go, so I'm gonna have some, just some black pepper and salt. So while my potatoes are going, I'm gonna work on my stock and yeah, build up all those shrimp flavors. For the stock, it's pretty simple. Just onion, garlic, the shrimp shells, thyme, some scotch bonnet in the end, just for some spiciness. But you wanna just keep everything rough. You don't have to really go crazy and chop everything nicely. See? My, my potatoes aren't burning, they're not turning brown yet, because everything is just low. Okay, so for the stock, I just put about a tablespoon of oil. So for the stock, I'm just going to have the curry powder, the onions, and the garlic, just to simmer a bit with the oil. Once that gets heated. Nothing fancy. So I have my onions and my garlic. I'm gonna put them in the pan with the oil. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of curry powder with the garlic and the onion and the oil, just to cook the curry just a little bit. So you just wanna make like a little paste and cook it down a little bit. All right, so we're still building the stock. I'm just gonna throw in one stalk of green onion, a quarter teaspoon of thyme. So my curry has been cooking for about five minutes. I think that's enough ready to throw in the shells and the coconut milk. So here are the shells. Keep everything, like I said, at the medium heat. Mm -hmm. 
like I said before, the shells are gonna build the flavor of the curry because when you cook the shrimps, the shrimps cook so fast that there's not enough shrimpiness in the curry sauce, I think. So I like to build up everything. So now my shells are turning a little pink, look nice. Just cooking and mixing it with the curry paste. Gonna add a little salt. And a little pepper. The potatoes are starting to get some color. That's what I want. And they're starting to get soft. They can go for a little bit longer. I chose curry for my first dish on MasterChef because I've been eating it forever. I remember the first time I had curry Sorry, the first time I ever had curry, I think it was curry chicken, and my grandpa always made it. And every time he made it, I used to beg him to make roti with it because I hated rice. So I always wanted to have curry and roti anytime. It was one of my favorite dishes. Looks like very seasoned shells right now. So now I'm just gonna, this is the coconut milk and water. It comes up to about two cups. So the coconut milk is going to add a nice, creamy, thick gravy. You could add stock, you could add water, but I like to add coconut milk because it binds everything together. It's not loose, it's not watery. The stock now is going to simmer on medium heat for about eight minutes. All right? You want all that shrimpiness to get in there. They're nice and golden on each side, you can see here. So I'm just going to put them to the side because we're going to add them later. And then keep this pan to fry off your shrimps. So I'm going to turn it off for now until my stock is ready. My stock is almost ready. It's been going for about eight minutes. You can see here, it's beautiful. It has a nice rich color. Everything's kind of cooked down. The garlic, the onion, everything is soft. It's nice and rich. So. At this point, you want to taste it. Make sure there's enough salt, make sure there's enough black pepper. It's perfect right now. So this is the perfect time to add the spice. Just gonna add some scotch bonnet. Oh, it smells great. Just rough chop it and add it into the stock. Let that pepper soak in. And now we're gonna fry up our shrimp, throw the stock in and complete the dish. You're pretty much close to finishing the dish. I'm gonna fry up the shrimps, add in all the rest of the ingredients and throw it on some rice. So let's get those shrimps ready. So the shrimps have been marinating for a bit. I'm using the same oil that I used for the potatoes. You don't have to add any more oil. We're just frying off the shrimp, getting some nice color on them. I think if you're a beginner cook, shrimp is probably one of the easiest things you can start off with. And with this recipe, it's really simple. Like you're just making a stock, you're frying some potatoes. So you're doing a little bit of everything. And then shrimps don't take long to cook. So it's pretty easy. All right, add in your shrimp. So if I had just made the curry with the shrimps and the sauce, everything all in one pot, then I'd have to cook down everything for a while. And that's kind of, you're gonna overcook the shrimps. When you're cooking shrimps, you want it to be nice and juicy in the inside. You don't want it to be tough and overcooked. So that's why I always make a stock first. So you can get all that shrimpy flavor in there. And you're not overcooking your shrimp. The shrimps have a good color on them. Now I'm gonna add in the stock. I'm gonna add the potatoes and I'm gonna add some sweet peppers just in the end to finish it all off. So I have my beautiful stock here. Get it all in there. Okay, so for the shrimp head and the shells, I know there's a lot of people that might not want to throw these away. These are perfectly fine. You can eat them if you want. I don't like to eat them. This is a more refined dish than that. But if you love eating the shrimp heads, go ahead. I mean, they're all seasoned and they're all tasty, right? I'm gonna add in the potatoes. Try it at this point if you like it if you need to add more salt or pepper. But now that it's pretty much finished, I'm gonna add in a cup of sweet peppers. I just have a mixture of red, yellow, and green. 
This is the last part. Just gonna cook this for a minute. I have some rice I made earlier. You can have this with anything. You could have it with rice, roti, dumpling. What else? What else can you have with it? Did I say roti? And to top it all off, I have some green onions. You don't have to add these. I just love adding green onions to things. <laughs> And there you have it, a simple Jamaican curry shrimp recipe that I made on MasterChef Canada. It's just a little variation of it. It's awesome for a weeknight dinner. Yeah, you can pack it for your lunch if you love curry. But it might smell like a breaker. Yeah, but it's really good. Yeah, it's very tasty. Has just enough spice from the scotch bonnet. Thanks for watching and remember to catch me on MasterChef Canada season 7 coming up February 14th where I'm not gonna be making this shrimp again, but I'll be making a lot more crazier dishes than this. And hopefully I make it to the top. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more cooking tutorials. I'm gonna be trying to pump out a lot this year. And yeah, just thanks for supporting the channel. Bye guys.